but the midbrain is not the part of the brain that does that thinking. The frontal lobe does that thinking and that's offline. As soon as the child starts to associate something with angst, something with fighting, something with screaming, think homework while I'm saying this, bedtime while I'm saying this, all of these big transitions in the day. The other thing that's important is you're getting all those benefits. I forgot to mention that. When you do this, your brain gets the cortisol block. Your brain gets the oxytocin and the opiates and the endorphins. Your brain gets all those same ama amazing benefits too. So your own brain is being medicated. So as you work together in flow, everybody gets healthier and happier and everybody comes into kind of emotional coherence in the family. Now, can I already hear what people are saying? I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. I don't have to. So the truth is, and this is what I say to everybody, you don't have time not to. Absolutely. You actually save time. You save time. Mm -hmm. Can I share an example? Yes, please. So my niece is brilliant. <laughs> She'll be three um, next month. So she's a toddler. Um, yeah. but her language is so well developed and her reasoning is amazing. She's yeah. just, I love spending time with her. Anyway, one day we we're outside painting and it was a really cool painting activity where you drop the paint in the water and then you put the paper on top and, it, and the paper lifts the paint out of the water. And she was totally enjoying herself. Well, I knew the rain was coming and dinner was coming. So we would be transitioning. So I gave her the transition warnings. I said, and time isn't going to mean anything to her. So I set, laid out three pieces of paper and let her know we've got three paintings left. Now we have two paintings left. Now we have one painting left. And, you know, when there's one left, then you're going to have to help me put the paints away. So she was okay with that. And she helped put the lids on and she was really so careful with it. And then it started to rain so we went in the house and we brought our paintings with us and laid them on the table and put the paint box on the table and then she got upset because she didn't want to stop painting she wanted to keep on painting and <laughs> when she gets upset she does her temper tantrum on the floor <laughs> mm -hmm. but she laid down she looked me right in the eye and I could just see she's thinking okay like this is your last chance to give me what I want before <laughs> I start kicking and screaming so it's of course get I wanted to yeah. say, because she's smart and she has the language and she's so good at reasoning when she's in the state to reason, yeah. I wanted to say to her, like, get up off the floor. You're like, you're not going to have a temper tantrum right now. It's time for dinner. I already gave you the transition warnings. Like, you know, like that's the yeah. instinct, but of I course. know I'm going to take a deep breath and calm myself down first. Okay. And then I got on the floor with her and I, so I was right at her level and I said, painting was so much fun. Fun. It was so cool how the paint went in the water and you swirled it around with the stick. So I was trying to imagine what she was thinking about painting. Yeah, that is master mirroring right there. That's it. <laughs> I've been practicing. Yeah, yeah. And I said, wow. you know, I really, I noticed that you really loved the pink and the purple and the yellow paints and how they swirled together. And she sat up. So she was no longer laying. She sat up and she said, yeah and the orange and green paints. I said, oh yes. And it was so nice how you lifted the paper so gently out of the water. It was such a nice activity. And then I noticed how you put all the lids on the paint to help clean up. You did such a lovely job. And then I went on to say, and I know it's really hard to stop doing things that are fun for us. And she just listened. She was really listening, but I could see her face just changing. It, it changes everything. Yeah, absolutely. It was magic. <laughs> it is. It's magic. Now it's hard, right? Like that a pa parents will often think, well, that, that takes more time. You're right. It doesn't take more time. It takes less because now they get up and they actually do it. Yes. Right? And she did. Um, we had a little hug. Yeah. We talked about painting another yeah. day and that was it. Tantrum avoided. It. If she went into that. the tantrum, that could take a yeah. long time. Yes. Oh God. It can take a very long time. So that was literally perfect. It doesn't always go like that, but honestly, about 95% of the time it does. Truly it does. Especially if you're mirroring, not active listening, because if you'd said, I know you really liked painting and you had a really fun time, but you're, you can hear by the, by the lilt in my voice, the sing song. Of course I'm going to say, but too bad, it's time to go. So she's already going to react to that before I've even said it, right? And what you did there, which was so lovely, I actually felt calm. I could feel the oxytocin flowing while you were telling the story, right? It just takes you into this beautiful, coherent moment 
where everything is paused and you're just joining around what a beautiful activity that was and how hard it is sometimes to leave an activity that's that much fun. And, and it's literally like medicine. So what's happened, she gets calmed down. So then when it's time to go, she just goes. And, and the really neat part, and we didn't get to this part, so I, you probably did do this, but when they actually do clean up, don't have a parade. Don't say, oh, that was so good. Look how you cleaned up and you didn't like, don't make such a big deal. When they do it, keep that nice ease, that nice, beautiful neutrality where you're like, nice cleaning up. That was pretty good. Well done. Because if you have too much energy, then they figure out, oh, not cleaning up can really make my aunt happy or really make my aunt mad, right? And they start to figure out where they can play around with this energy with us as parents. So that I'm very impressed. That was a beautiful, beautiful mirroring moment. That was lovely. And here's the thing, like those moments, that's just the bonus. Okay. That's the bonus. You had a lovely moment. It went well, you cleaned up. It was all good. But as a parent or an aunt, the more that you do that, the more you are building a brain that can handle moving, that can handle transitions. You've got self-esteem. You've got a sense of self. You didn't get yelled at. There was no shame. You're, that is an amazing brain builder. So over time, and there's a lot of evidence that's showing, um, and, and mindfulness is wonderful and all those things are fantastic. But one of the things that's showing that really makes a difference with emotional regulation is connection. Connection. 